I did not know this is possible. Hi, I'm Geek Climber. I have been climbing for about 10 years. Usually I'm able to climb V4s and in my best day V5s, but never a V6. I have been climbing at this level for about 6 to 7 years. What? The reason for the plateau is most likely that I never attempted to train on a handboard. Handboard is a training device that rock climbers use to train their finger strength. I still have the dream of doing something like deep water solo, which is exclusive to climbers at the next level. So I decided today is a day to make a change. I have the opportunity to work with World Edge, which makes high quality hangboards that caters to all level of climbers. I'm going to challenge myself to train on the hangboard for 30 straight days. I'm gonna test how long I can hang on each run and then do the same test again after 30 days and see how much I improve. The initial test is worse than expected. For the first 1 inch run, I'm able to hang for about 30 seconds. For the 3 fourths of an inch run, my hang time goes down to 9 seconds. Oh. And for the half an inch run, I cannot even hang for a second. In terms of how to train, I did some research by myself and saw Paul Robinson's video mentioning a hangboard workout routine in the form of 10 second hang, 5 second rest, 5 sets and 3 cycles. I thought it would work for me but... Oh, too intense! Rest. Okay, come on man. Oh, can do it! So today obviously doesn't work too well. So we make some adjustments. I make it a 7 second hang, 7 second rest, 3 sets. After training by myself for a few days, I realized how little I know about hangboarding. So I decided to reach out to an expert, Peter, who coaches the UCSD climbing team for some advice on training properly on hangboards. So when you were hanging, you were kind of just hanging with your shoulders down by your ears. You want to bring them up. It's going to be uncomfortable at first, but theoretically, with every single movement you make while climbing, you want your shoulders to be engaged anyway. You never want to be climbing like this. The only reason why you're climbing like this is when you're resting. Bend it a little bit, tiny bit. They should never be straight. You shouldn't be like locking them off like this. They should be just a little bit, not 90 or anything, just to take the weight off. So you do 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and then rest for four minutes. Let your body almost fully recover and then do it again, right? and you repeat that maybe six, seven times, mm -hmm. you could do it every other day. And then when you start getting better, start adding in some weight. Add like, you know, five pounds, 10 pounds. Make it so that you can only hang at least seven seconds, at most 10 seconds. See how that goes in a month. Take like a week off. You should be able to see some kind of progress when you come back to it. After that week off, you're gonna be a little shaky in climbing for maybe about two, three days worth but you're gonna get back into it and you're gonna be way stronger. Go outside, find a project that you're really psyched on. Work on that project. And that psych is gonna help you train too. Keep training and then if you send it, you're obviously getting stronger. I've never hurt myself on a hangboard. You're not pulling, you're not doing anything dynamic, you're just hanging. As long as you don't wrap those thumbs around your fingers, you're more or less gonna be perfectly fine. So I, I wouldn't be too concerned about the injury aspect of a hangboard. If I'm feeling really sluggish, I'll go work out first. I'll do some cardio first. Because there's nothing to do with your body, really. It's your heart rate. You want to get your heart rate up. Once your heart rate's up, you're good to go. Before you climb, just kind of like pull your fingers back a little bit, you know. Shake them out, like, warm them up. Just anything to get the blood in there. Yeah, exactly. Because nothing is worse than stiff joints. Nothing's worse than stiff fingers. Use those long sticks. Just kind of like do your shoulder dislocates. Get your shoulders warmed up because your shoulders are really important for climbing. So up a little, right? Perfect. Yeah. Right, bring it down just a tiny bit, you don't need to really, there you go. Perfect, right there, that's good. Based on what Peter said, I started my training routine with 10 second hang, 10 second rest, 2 sets, 3 cycles on the top run. On day 9, I can already feel the difference. Some of the holes that I generally try to avoid, today when I try to climb up those holes, those holes actually feel a lot easier. As I continue to train, on day 11, I decided to move to the middle run with 5 second hang, 10 second rest, 2 sets and 3 cycles. And I slowly increased the hang time to 6 seconds, 7 seconds, 8 seconds, and eventually 9 seconds. 
30 days flew by really fast and it is time for the final test. For the first one inch run, my hang time increases to 46 seconds, which is a nice 53% improvement. Oh. For the 3 fourths of an inch run, my hang time increases to 35 seconds which is a whopping 289% improvement. Oh. And for the half an inch run, I'm now able to hang for four seconds, which technically is an oh. infinite percent of improvement. The 30 day challenge is over, but I plan to continue hangboard training regularly. And I think this is the biggest thing I got from this challenge. I learned a lot and my fingers becomes a lot stronger than I can ever imagined prior to the 30 day challenge. It's amazing. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys want to make your fingers stronger as I did, make sure to click the link in the video description below and use promo code GEEKCLIMBER to get 20% off your first Royal Edge hangboard purchase. Remember, this promo code is only gonna be valid for 30 days, so make sure to get it while it's still valid. I am not sponsored and this promo code is exclusively for you. And yes, they ship internationally. I will post longer and more detailed videos about my journey throughout these 30 days on my Facebook page. If you are interested to watch the videos, check out the video description to follow me on Facebook. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.